you what we have done so far we we created our we created three servers domain controller database and sccm we installed uh, we promoted domain as a domain controller that was pepsi.com then on sccm box we installed uh, all the prerequisite of uh, sccm box uh, we created system management container granted full permission to that container um, we extended the schema of domain controller installed all the prerequisite these are the prerequisite then we installed wadk uh, installed sql uh, on the database server we gave 8 gigabyte of ram to the sql database we installed wsus and then we installed sccm so these before we have sccm we have done these steps and then we created discovery method boundary boundary group and then we assigned so all these things we have done these role installation client policy client installation created collection added user to the collection then we deployed application like multiple application we have deployed then we have done software update you know patching we downloaded the updates from Microsoft site and then we deployed it. We also did endpoint protection. Uh, then uh, created endpoint protection, downloaded endpoint protection. How to, yeah, how to remote to another computer. We have done this one as well. You know how to remote into another computer. Then we did resource explorer, power management, configuration item, compliance baseline. You know to check the version of Internet Explorer. We we did the deployment of baseline to find out how many computers are compliant and non-compliant. We also did this how to enable the backup. How to take the backup of a CCM server. Okay, how to restore it. Queries and reporting, then mobile device management. Right. Also, we did operating system deployment. These are the things we did for operating system deployment. So, for mobile device management, that was the last session we have done. Anyone has any question? Um, you got the videos as well. Were you able to do it? Or is it still having any issues with you guys? Bhargavi, Hindu, Saichan. Are you guys able to hear me? Bargavi? You have any question? Manasa, Saichan, Sendhu, Trimal. We did not complete the last class. Okay. Have you logged into the servers? Anyone? Manasa, you logged into the server? Okay. So, let me make Manasa as a presenter. And see what is so for mobile device what happens we need to create a subscription with Intune 
then we synchronize our users with look for Apple devices with the platform like for Android that people will be able to enroll Android device we also did for iOS and also add the certificate from the desktop right
okay now i want you uh mansa uh, let me i think i tried to enroll the device that day okay that did not come user What is the password, uh, sir? You tried my account. Okay. Uh, Trimal, are you able to see my device there in your computer, in your SCCM console? cloud services is yes uh, I'm just checking if we have configured everything properly or not Microsoft Intune connector is added Okay, so um, uh, what is the password for uh, this user? Sir, it is having mobile user. Yes, okay, great. So that day uh, we have done that one. So what is the password for this uh, Manasa? Do you remember? mobile dot user at sorry it's k u k u t l three oh my god can you type in please i can't hear you the username and password both can you type in there in the chat window mansa can you type in Okay, and what is the password, please? Sorry, uh, what is the username? Mobile dot user at Pepsi four eight eight, right? Dot on, is that the one? Microsoft dot com. mobile dot user at Pepsi 488 uh, okay Mansa at no Mansa is not the one mobile user okay wait I'll I'll check myself in domain controller
is this? This is wrong actually. The, you have not done the configuration properly. <clears throat> Properties. Pepsi. Pepsi is not there. P E S I is there, right? Mansa. Is Pepsi written there or what is written? You did not type in correctly, Pansa. P E P S I four eight eight dot on Microsoft dot com. Mobile user Pepsi for edited. It was written incorrectly. Okay, so mobile user. So I'll type my in my mobile. I'll type mobile user at Pepsi four eight eight dot on Microsoft dot com and the password you have given that to me on chat window is capital K, right? K a U K U T L A three. Okay, so this user does not have the license it says on my mobile when I tried it says this user is not given license So first we need to assign license so we'll go to portal dot office dot com Mansa, can you enter your password for Intune? Yeah, this user does not have the license, so I'll assign license to the user. Okay, now I'm trying again mobile 
user at Pepsi four eight eight dot on Microsoft dot com. And password you have given that to me is K A U K U T L A three. yeah it is still saying license needs to be assigned it will take some time okay uh, because we just assigned the license and uh, then we will be able to enroll our devices uh, i'll try this one mobile dot user password is same for mobile dot user as we have for mobile user One, sir. Yes, okay so it is taking some time in your uh, at your end because we just assign the license it will uh, it is saying uh, wait i did not try that one mobile dot user mobile dot user and password uh, capital k a u k u t l a 3 Okay. So I am enrolling the device with the mobile dot user, and it is going through. And uh, Mansa, have you also tried with your uh, mobile? Uh, on your mobile, have you tried? Yes, sir. Was it working? No, sir. Okay. You can try on your. You have Apple device or uh, Android? Which one? Mansa. Apple, sir. Okay. So you you try mo with mobile dot user. It should work now. Okay, you downloaded download. have you downloaded company portal on your device yes sir, yes, sir. okay so log in with your uh, mobile dot user at uh, pepsi 488 dot on microsoft dot com and the password which you had given that to me 
trimal that is working for you right okay for trimal is it's working uh, for anyone else it, it is working apart from trimal or no one tried saichand Sindhu It's working for you, right, Sindhu? Okay, Trimal, can you share your screen with me? Make presenter. Yeah, go to SCCM console. Mobile user, uh, go to devices. Okay, no device is there. Have you tried enrolling the device, Trimal, yourself? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, do you have Apple, show, sir. Do you have Apple or Android device? Apple, sir. Uh, just before, like a few minutes, I saw here like mobile user, but it is not showing now. So have you uh, unenrolled? No, sir. I have enrolled in that. Sense. I did not do anything. Okay. What on your mobile? Sir. Are you what do you see there in company portal when you go to company portal? Just a second, sir. Mansa, is it enrolling at your end? Doing it, sir. I'm doing it, sir. Okay. You need to use mobile dot user at Pepsi uh, credential at Pepsi four eight eight dot on Microsoft dot com and the password which you have given to sign into company portal and then keep going install begin enroll device okay. system device sorry sir it says profile installed sir Profile installed. Yes, sir. Enrolling device. Enrolling, okay. You are enrolling again, right? Yes, sir. Open. Okay. Thank you. 
it's a, I hope for it's a signal for the mobile user Android. Sorry? I have two devices. Uh, on the last class, you uh, you enrolled on your mobile device. Yeah. Mobile device. Today, signal I will be showing two of them. So I will refresh it once. OK. Oh, even I got two devices. Sorry? Oh, even it's showing from two devices. I can't hear you. Uh, it's echo. Can you type in, please? One, sir. Sir, can you see my screen? Tidmal's iPhone. Yeah. So you have enrolled the device. You see, guys, that is how the device is shown up uh, in the um, console. Mansa, you will also see my device there. You know, mobile dot user Android there. And have you also enrolled your device, Mansa? Okay, let me connect to um, yeah. Let me connect to Mansa's uh, computer because she has two devices enrolled. Well, I have enrolled my device, and she has also enrolled her device. Yeah, Mansa, can you share your screen? Mansa, are you sharing? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Open SCCM console, please. So you see, uh, one is Mansa's uh, iPhone, and the other one is my device, mobile user. That is my device. Okay. So. That is how we enroll the device and the devices are shown up here now. How we can manage the device. OK, so for example, Mansa has lost her iPhone somewhere and you, you want to uh, wipe the device like it is the data in the device. OK, so you can right click on this and you can remote device. You can do these things remote. Uh, Sorry, retire wipe. You can erase the data using this. Don't do it, otherwise it will do factory reset of your device. Then you can also reset passcode, remote lock, view passcode status. You can do all these things. Understood? Guys, that is how we can manage our devices, mobile device. We can remotely wipe the device. We can remotely uh, reset the password of the device. We can remotely unlock the device. Right. Same thing we can do for Android device. So this one is Android. So we can remote wipe and remote device action. We can do this. These things option. These are the options. Right. Now, one more thing which we can do is to secure the device with the policy so let's say i want to have a policy that uh, user cannot user cannot open uh, a google play store or android app app uh, uh, apple app store something like that or user cannot access camera or user cannot do voice calling something like that so you what you can do you can go to compliance setting and create configuration item here based on the requirement okay so i'll create a configuration item here mobile device policy okay and that will be mobile device okay so i'll use the mobile device and go next what policy you want to have for Mobile, let's say I want to have a password policy, device policy, security, 
uh, what else okay so these are the policy i have chosen password device security and i'll go next now i want every device to to be password protected so i'll click on required minimum password user need to set is eight character for example every device should be protected with eight password eight digit of password password should expire on every 30 days okay number of password remember uh, three okay number of failed login attempt before the for example if your device is stolen and somebody is trying to unlock the device so if he types in 10 wrong password after after 10 10th attempt the device will be uh, factory reset device will do the clean wipe of the device factory reset the data will be erased idle time mobile device is logged for example after if the mobile is no one is using the mobile so after one minute the mobile will be locked password complexity uh, strong password quality required alphanumeric with symbol anything of your choice okay so these are the policy for password so when you enroll the device it will give you a prompt that you need to set a password and the password length should be eight character password has to be expired in every 30 days okay that's how you can secure your company device also uh, let's say you don't want user to use the voice calling so prohibit okay screen capture if you don't want user to do the screen capture you can disable that one game center user cannot use the game center okay these are the options you can define factory reset user cannot do factory reset allow prohibit okay next now if you don't want user to use the camera you can prohibit okay bluetooth user cannot use bluetooth youtube user cannot go to youtube okay these are the options you can define next next now oh, it will be up this policy will be applied on all windows uh, all mobile devices like iphone ipad android windows phone symbian phone windows mobile next 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 now this configuration item is created if we deploy this to all mobile users it will be applied on my device on manasa device because these are the two devices uh, enrolled at the moment but i don't want to deploy it otherwise we will be asked for the password eight character password or something like that any confusion guys how to create a policy for mobile device trimal any confusion saichand mansa bhargavi sindhu all good so no one is using this mobile device management but uh, i wanted to show this to you that this is also one of the options so you may use this option uh, but this is very rarely used in the company because intune is not that good product we have good better product in the market than intune so more like airwatch is there uh, goods is there there are other mobile device management applications are there the people are using those th those things i hope it's clear for how to manage mobile devices how to set the policies 
everyone so we are done with the session now i don't have anything to 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 show that to you guys any question you have <laughs> any question or anything you guys have let me know are you guys good with the technology you understood uh, uh, did i explain you properly or uh, well, how i uh, what was there any you know issues in understanding something can you give me feedback please bargavi are you good well, did i explain you properly bargavi okay trimal was it clear the technology is good enough you will be able to handle it yes sir uh, but sir is this enough for the certification actually we are trying to do the certification of sccm mm -hmm. yeah first practice at least 15 to 20 days and then go for the certification yes sir uh, the like uh, can you share the your document which you are following so that it will be easy for us uh, like the step by step process yeah i have do? i have sent an email that has the document the step by step the screenshot and all Yeah. Did you guys get it? Yeah, I got it, but I think it is not from the initial stage. It is from the middle, I think. So. Uh huh. It is there. Uh, if not, then you have the videos, right? Yes, sir. You can follow the videos. Okay. Okay. Sir. Actually, I'm thinking that if you send your document so that I will be easy for us to write the notes and everything by like manually to prepare. Uh, wait. Google Drive. Now, Trimal, uh, uh, Sai Chen, do you have any question or are you good with this? Yes, sir. I'm good with. This. Okay, so you'll be able to handle this technology when you go in a company and start working on it, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. Uh, Same thing. Uh, uh, Sorry. Mm -hmm. The certification which we have to take uh, is from the Microsoft, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, that's fine. For certificate, certification, you need to go to this. I'll show you. Seventy hyphen two four three is the. Paper number. Okay, so they have retired this configuration. Currently available option. Please. Okay, so they have uh, updated it with the new one. I'll give you the new code. don't worry about it so what are the skills they are measuring you know i'll tell you this one design and plan certif uh, systems and the configuration infrastructure that i have already shown you right how to do that then osd deployment right then software update these are the things which we have covered the compliance setting right manage sites manage clients i will also uh these are the things that they are measuring at the moment and uh, the marks is 700 you need to score out of 1000 to pass the exam now i'll give you the document which uh, i think i have already given that to you but again i am 
giving you the link so everyone you have this link available on the chat window okay you can go to that link and download the documents and that has a step by step uh, a step by step document like deploying of application software update deploying of windows operating system endpoint protection those are the things available there okay there are multiple things so i would suggest go through the document so that you can understand also you have the videos for each session so any other question guys Bhargavi, I just sent the link in the chat window so you can take that one and download the document if you did not get the email. Any other question, guys? Sir, in the previous sessions, I couldn't find the report. You said that we'll check the issue of what's going on. report in SCCM, right? Mansa, right? You had yes. reporting issues. So it is there, all the reports. Okay, sir. Okay. Sir, can you share your number? Like if we have uh, any doubts, we can contact you. Actually, I am not allowed to share my contact details. Uh, if you have any doubt or any question, you can contact the the organizer, and okay. we can have the session again. If if you guys anyone has any issues, you can contact the organizer, and the organizer will. Uh, conduct a session I will be available anyone has any other question so do you have any sample resumes of SCCM yeah I have my resume do you want me to send that to you yes sir so that we okay. can we can prepare okay. for a few more resumes okay I'll send that to organizer and they will send that to you oh okay okay and uh, i oh, i would request you guys to give your feedback okay how was the training was it you know clear or uh, give your genuine feedback you know uh, so you want me to mail yeah. like everyone uh, he, that guy, uh, I think Srinivas will ask you for the feedback. So please give your feedback, whatever you felt with the training, whatever you felt with the, you know, the way the training went. Okay. Okay. I know the there are something, you know, it's it's just a training session. It's not the we cannot learn everything in 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 one month because it's a very vast technology. But I gave you the platform. I gave you the a practical session so you can practice a lot you know you can uh, you have the word document you have the step by step document you have the videos so you need to push yourself a little bit hard to understand the technology properly to start working on it i'll also share my uh, qu the question and answers which are uh, basically asked in the interview okay the common question and answer which you can prepare for the interview for job also my resume so that you can prepare your resume for like two years of experience or three years of experience something like that but before you go before you put anything on your resume make sure you have already practiced that or you know the technology already okay so basically sccm we have covered everything we managed mobile device we managed windows devices 
we've sent application we patch the device we've sent endpoint protection we send the policy those are the things which we have done so i have tried my level best to make you understand guys okay i hope you guys do well all the best and uh, whatever you are doing in your future i hope uh, i wish you all the best and uh, uh, i hope uh, you get uh, the highest success in your uh, in your career okay that's uh, my prayer and uh, i wish you all the best everyone anything for me or any question or any issues you get if you are in the job and you need some clarification or you need some assistance you can ask the organizer to set a meeting and i can come on online and assist you further okay so you were very uh, everyone was very um, uh, you know very much uh, matured enough to understand the technology i did not have to uh, put a lot of uh, you can say a uh, uh, lot of effort to make you understand because uh, the way you were getting grasping the technology was amazing you got the technology properly the only thing is you need practice everyone so i request you to practice a lot and do well okay thank you so much thank you thanks again and uh, keep in touch any time if you need any assistance you can the, you can let the organizer know about it so thanks again and you have a great uh, future ahead thank you bye bye thank you guys everyone bye bye bhar bargavi bye mansa bye saichan sindhu trimal everyone bye bye mm -hmm.